What's good, everybody? You rocking with your one and only, Zara for Christ. Let's get into it. Like, share, subscribe. Now, our problem right here, read it. There is an article out now where Mayor Adam, Eric Adams is responding to 50 Cent. But the way he's doing it is very, let's say, erotic, in my opinion. Because when he's saying it, he's saying, tell him, hit me up. Why is he telling him to hit him up when he could talk to him on the phone or he made a statement already? He said, so I can tell you my stuff personally. He added personally. The personally thing is a signal to let him know, hey, when you come, there's going to be a certain type of vibe. That's my opinion also. I believe he's reaching out in your eyes in this article to a superstar to make contact in your face, a political move, not just for politician stuff, allegedly okay read it that's what it reads as i can only i can only speculate off of what i read then you need to look at the writer because that's what it is to read it that's what it is all right now we got to talk about this exodus 15 6 god has patience with us and deals with us throughout all our stuff and if you don't know that his hand is outstretched to help you then you are in trouble but just as well his hands outstretched to destroy you got to get that. When we get the revelations deeper, that's what it's going to be talking about. Exodus, the beginning, Alpha and Omega, the beginning matches the end. Understand, these guys have prominent positions of power, infinite money, and they're continually doing wickedness to the point they're comfortable putting statements in the news and leading this back to show who they actually are. This is a dangerous feature because Exodus 15, 6, I know that. You want to know how I know? Because it was in two to three separate spots dealing around this situation. Go read it. This is how serious it is. This is old time. Listen, what did I say yesterday? This proves my point. They're trying to get you to break old time scripture so that you have no, no logic at all. If you break old time scripture, you're done. Because what are you going to do? That's old time. Fam, that's, that, it's the easiest ones to beat. That's why they try, somebody tried to push polygamy. It's wicked spirits, spiritual wickedness we're dealing with. Understand, me too, we all are, regardless of how hard you do, but that's why you got to be more serious about God so you make it through because it's about to get more serious. It's going to be in your household. It's going to be around your family. This is going to hit like, like a hurricane for everybody's household. There's going to be someone around you with spiritual wickedness is dwelling up in them. If you do not have Jesus Christ, you will not be safe. Because you're looking at it like, oh, I'm safe. I got this. I got this. No, it won't matter. It's spirits, okay? It could be a spirit trying to kill you and, like, trying to choke you and suffocate you out of nowhere. And it's nobody but a spirit. Listen, you got to have God. It's that serious. I know stories like that. I don't talk about all that. But that's what it is. Eric Adams, this is wicked, man. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Why do you need to be in a song by 50? Understand, he sings love songs a lot. When he sings it about a person, he ain't singing about a man. So why do you want him to sing about you? Guys, you got to look at the context clues. That's why I said what I said. I, it wasn't erotic what he said, but here's the thing. Why do you want him to make a song about you? He made a song about... Look at, look at the candy stick. Yo, bro, fam, what are you on, Eric Adams? Mayor Eric Adams, what are you doing? You want him to what? Fam, make a song about you? What other man was he making a song for? Son, what is wrong with you? Stop, man. Stop looking for vain glory. Get it on your own too, right? You got a city to run and you worried about 50 cent me. And you go and say it was funny. It was just being a joke. No, that's not funny because you put that out there. All the kids reading it, they're taking examples from you. You're not moving like a man, period. That's what it is. It's your manhood in question right here. Your manhood. So stop doing stuff like that. That's not cool. You're leading children the wrong way and God wants you to stop, sir. Stop, because this is how you lead your country. I bet they come with something serious and you can't man up to do something right. And then you're going to be looking at all those PTA moms like I tried and you're lying. You're not being truthful, allegedly. Listen, man, do what God tells you to do. He put you in power for a reason. 
respect it. And if you don't, he'll take it. What runner up is ready to take Mayor Eric Adams' spot? Go ahead. Run. Run this year. If you're better, you're better. Right there, Mayor Eric Adams. Right there. We're not even going to talk about that anymore. Let's go ahead and go forward. I think 50 Cent is doing a lot of good things, but as far as the charity and the community goes, I'm not even saying he needs to step it up. He needs to make more alliances with better parties, better practices, and a better light to the name. He's doing well, managing the money and things, but he has to keep the thing under control, dealing with the sun thing. That's been in the articles three or two, four times last year, and I didn't really do it because I didn't have time, but that's been in the news a lot. He got to manage that. That's got to be something you got to manage, bro. You got to figure that out. It's your son. You got to make a connection. You got to ask God to lead y'all. And as the son, son, you got to listen to him. That's your father. If 50 Cent says jump, you got to jump and then say, hey, why, dad? Son, you got to listen to your father, fam. You got to listen to him. If 50 Cent tells you to moonwalk, try and do it. God says to listen to your father. He could be teaching you something for your life. Listen to what he's telling you. That is God's law, fam. All the way back in Exodus, no son would have ever raised a hand at the father. God would have killed you. Not even your father. God. Right there, he would have said, this, this is a defect. Boom. <laughs> fam, that fact. Fam, follow your parents' orders. Don't be disobedient. That's a spirit of rebellion. That does not fit in the kingdom of God, fam. You got to do everything by God's law, especially when you're a kid. Don't matter if you know, think you know better. Listen to them. They know better than you. Trust in them. God gave them you for a reason. Okay? Period, man. All you celebrity kids, I got to call y'all out. Sorry. All rights reserved.